morning one and all my topic is recurring cyst so craniopharyngioma are epithelial tumor arising along the path of craniopharyngeal duct incidence is 1.9 lakh 1.9 per 10 lakh we reported two cases of cystic craniopharyngioma presented with different chief complaints and belonging to different age group we had performed comprehensive ophthalmic evaluation of two patients which included detailed history general physical examination and ocular examination including visual acuity color vision anterior segment examination and disc evaluation we had done investigations including routine hemogram pituitary hormone assessment hvf oct rnfl ganglion cell analysis and mri brain also we had done cross referral to neurosurgeon and endocrinologist and regular visual function monitoring so coming to case description the first case was a 90 year old male presented with complaints of painless gradually progressed diminution of vision in right eye since 6 months associated with on and off dull aching type of headache lasting for about half an hour also he noticed increased appetite weight gain and fatigue and the second case was a 4 year old female child presented with complaints of gradually progressed outward deviation of left eye since past 1 year associated with tiredness and sleeplessness and she had normal birth history and postnatal and developmental milestones so this was the first case on examination we noticed generalized loss of secondary sexual characters here we can note he didn't develop facial hairs and axillary hair his bmi was 25.22 kg per meter square and the other one was the second case on ocular examination first case a right eye bcva was 3 by 60 color vision 1 by 17 and hbct was central extraocular movements both eye full and free pupil grade 3 rfid noted and left eye vision and color vision was within normal limit optitis partial optic atrophy not in both eyes right eye more than left and the second case right eye bcva 618 color vision 11 by 17 hbct was 15 degree exotopia and uh, extraocular movements full and free in both eyes left eye vision was hand movement we couldn't assess the color vision and uh, grade 3 rfid not in left eye choky pallor of the disc was seen left more than right so this is the first case we can see the partial optic atrophy more in right eye and on visual field examination left eye was showing uh, inferior temporal quaternionopia and right eye diffusely depressed fields and uh, on endocrinology evaluation we noticed significant decrease in the pituitary hormones so diagnosis partial optic atrophy right more than left with bitemporal depressed fields and endocrine dysfunction suggesting cellular or supracellular lesion so we had taken mri brain it was showing cystic intracellular mass with supracellular extension compressing the optic chiasma which was suggesting cystic craniopharyngioma the say, uh, second case mri was also showing the same cystic uh, intracellular mass on oct rnfl it was showing diffuse thinning of all quadrants ganglion cell analysis also also showing diffuse thinning in all quadrants and endocrinology evaluation was showing borderline low tsh so both patients underwent transnasal transmenoidal drainage of the mass but recurrence happened after few months so terrional craniotomy and drainage of the craniopharyngioma with placement of omaya reservoir done endocrinology consultation done and start on hormone replacement therapy histopathology revealed adamantinomatous craniopharyngioma and both patients underwent definitive radiotherapy later so we'll see the follow up the first case we can see uh, he developed the facial hairs and also axillary hair so this is the red the red arrow shows the area where they place the omaya reservoir and the visual field pre and post surgery left eye we can see the quadrant anopia was completely disappeared right eye was not showing much improvement we can see uh, after surgery the cyst was completely shrunken and the time point also after surgery the size is uh, reduced dramatically and his vision in right eye improved to 636 second case also Uh, the time point we can see the size is reduced dramatically after the surgery so both patients continued hormone replacement therapy and visual function monitoring monthly so on conclusion craniopharyngeal may, may present with variety of manifestation in bimodal age distribution and it uh, it has a significant surgical challenge due to adherence to the vital neurovascular structure so early diagnosis multimodal management and regular monitoring for signs of recurrence is crucial these are my references thank you Thank you doctor it was a nice presentation thank you very much thank you sir